All right, listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Good. Now check your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will move toward the center of your compass. Approach your current objective. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Go, go, go! Martin, good to see you. They got your sorry butt here too, huh? Hey, good luck. Move it, ladies! This is not your Aunt Fanny's dance! Jump over him! Come on, Elder, get the lead out! Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Sergeant, fire up those machine guns! Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna take you through weapons training. The rest of you ladies, stay right here. Eyes up, Private. I'm up here, in the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. Approach the fence and fire six rounds at your target. Your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. Fire six more rounds at your target, in different stances and while moving. You'll be more accurate while not moving, and in the crouching or prone positions. These skills could mean your life. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left, move to the fence, and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. All right, I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Exchange your Springfield for one of the Thompson submachine guns on the table. Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons, besides your sidearm and grenades. Fire ten rounds at your target, first from the hip, then aiming down the gun sight. Compare your accuracy. Get used to firing both ways. A slight zoom in. On the sight of a weapon without a scope. Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. You're gonna move slower this way. In close quarters combat, you can hit your head with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Fire three more rounds at your target. Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. Pick up the frag grenades from the table. Pick them up. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire! Move to the concrete post. Move out to the left. This will help protect you from the enemy. All right, Private. Move on to the next area. Remember, Private, if you get hurt, grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our last station will be explosives. Pick them up, partner. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there and let it blow off. 
Good job, Private. Well done. Keep your weapons with you and clean at all times. You are dismissed. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord, the air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H-hour D-Day, seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H-hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H-hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. Lama Roosevelt von Bethan should. Sie riechen wie Käse!
right, guys, get set to move. On my command. Let's go, let's go. Cut through these houses. 
All right, fellas, take five, but listen up. We'll hold this place till reinforced, but this is just one tiny village in a war and country full of them, so our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll redeploy those German machine guns setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies in mind. Good work. are taking a break. Johnson, go have a look. Right, Captain. Got him. Franklin, hold the church. Everyone else, follow me!
Martin, over here. Get in the car. Okay, Captain. Assuming we get back to battalion in this rolling junkyard, what do I tell him? Hand this directly to Major Shepard. Tell him Baker Company has secured the town, but won't be able to hold it long if we don't get relief soon. Got that, Sergeant? Oh, yes, sir, you bet. We ride through enemy lines in a French tin can. Want to paint a bullseye on it, sir? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that won't be necessary, Sarge. So unless you've got a better idea or a radio that works, carry on. Good luck. Oh, man, this is nuts. I can't believe we're doing this. Believe it, unless you sprout wings and want to fly. It's only six miles, Private. Just shut up and do your job.
got it. Got it. I gotta go report in to Major Shepard and get our orders. Take five, but stay put. Okie doke, Sarge. What the hell else on? Third squad, get your 30 cal to cover our flank. Second squad, follow in reserve. I got point. Elder and Martin on my tail. Everybody set? Let's go.
explosives and try to shut their artillery down. Second platoon, move in and secure these buildings. Now, let's go! Jerry's outside. Let's mop up and get out of here.
1st Platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me 50 bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Privates Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to battalion headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Mariglis. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Brecourt Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st so that it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen, and enjoy your R&R &R while you can. There's an MG-42 on the left, with a guardhouse on the right. They didn't spot me. Let's hope. Captain Price and Major Ingram? Probably in the big house up the road. Martin, you take point and knock out that 42. Harding and Brooks, go get the truck. Meet us at the front of the chateau. Everyone else, follow Martin. Move! Grab any docks, knock out their communications, then meet back up with us. Sergeant Moody and I will find Price and Ingram.
the job. All right, guys, we're moving on. Move in! Stop now. Bryce and Ingram are behind these doors. Stand back. We're gonna blow them. Well, goodness me, Americans. Made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite all right. Uh, I can still walk. Captain Price, Captain Foley. Where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Not to worry. I overheard where. Truck's up front, sir. Excellent. Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt. Let's pile in. We're getting out. Captain, what about Major Ingram? We'll be back for him. Get in. Okay, Martin, we're about ready to ram the gate, with less than 10 minutes from your first shot to pull this off. If you take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. You take out the front guards, concentrating on the machine gun nests. Once the gate is down, get in there and find the Major. Then rendezvous back at the truck.
Here's a spot of luck. Come to collect me, have you? Lead on, lad. Hey, Time for handshakes and hellos. Well done, well done. 